In this video, I will walk you through the installation of Debian 12 Bookworm in a virtual box on a Windows 11 PC. This is a step-by-step -step guide on installing Debian Linux 2023 on a virtual box. The version we will be installing is Debian 12, so watch this video till to the end and learn how to install Debian Linux 2023 in a virtual box on a Windows PC. Now without further ado, let's get started. Since we are installing Debian Linux in a virtual box, you must have enabled hardware virtualization on your PC or laptop. Now by default, this feature is enabled and allows you to run and test any OS in a virtual environment. If it's not enabled, you need to check the BIOS settings and turn on hardware virtualization. Once it's enabled, you can verify the status using the Windows Task Manager. Also, make sure on your Windows PC you have a free space of at least 100 GB. It's time to start installing Debian 12 in a virtual box on a Windows 11 PC. Now go ahead, open your favorite browser and head over to this link and click on this button to download Debian Linux. At the time of recording this video, Debian 12 is the latest version. You can choose the default 64-bit ISO. Now head over to the second link and download the virtual box for your PC or laptop. Now once it's done downloading VirtualBox and Debian Linux ISO, place them on your desktop for easier navigation. Then go ahead, double click on the VirtualBox and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Now, as you can see, this is the user interface of the virtual box. We're going to go ahead and create a virtual machine for Debian Linux. To do so, click on the new button, name the virtual machine. This is the folder location where all the files of VM are stored. Then set the type as Linux. And for the version, I'm going to choose Debian 64 bit. Now click on next, allocate the RAM and CPU cores for the Debian Linux virtual machine. I'm going to use 10 GB of RAM and 3 CPU cores for faster performance. Now make sure the slider stays inside the green color, then click on next. Now allocate the storage space of 20 GB or higher. Now this is the summary of the virtual machine and click on finish. Now as you can see, we have done creating a Debian Linux virtual machine. By selecting it, click on Settings, choose General, Advanced, and set the shared clipboard as bidirectional. Now, this allows clipboard sharing between Windows 11 or host OS and Debian Linux. I'm not going to enable the drag and drop and leave it disabled. Then select Display from the sidebar and increase the video memory to the maximum. I'm going to enable 3D acceleration, which allows guest machines to use the host machine GPU to render 3D graphics based on OpenGL. Now select storage from the sidebar. Under the IDE controller, click on empty. Then click on this DVD icon and choose a disk file. Go ahead and import the Debian Linux ISO that looks like this. Then I'm going to select network. You can use the default NAT. If in case you want this virtual machine to be accessed by another computer within a network, it's better to choose a bridge adapter. That way, Debian Linux will have its own IP address and can be used to connect from a remote computer via SSH. For now, I would stick to NAT. And that's it, we have done configuring the virtual machine. It's time to start the VM. To do so, click on the Start button. Then click anywhere inside the virtual machine. Keep in mind, when you click inside a virtual machine, the cursor control will be bounded to the guest OS. To release, press the right control key on your keyboard to get the control of the cursor back to the host OS. Now choose graphical install using the arrow keys and press the enter key to boot into the Debian Linux installer. You go ahead and set the system language, then select your location and set the keyboard language. You 
then leave Debian as the host name and click on continue. For the domain name, leave it empty. Set the root password, then create a user account and password. Now choose to use the entire disk, then select the virtual disk. Choose all in one partition and finish partitionizing the virtual drive. After a few minutes, you will see this window to choose the desktop environment. I tried KDE and GNOME both work fine without any issues. But for now, I would like to use a GNOME desktop and click on continue. And lastly, you need to install the Grab Bootloader. Choose Yes and Continue. Then select the virtual drive and continue to finish the installation. Once the installation is complete, click on Continue to reboot. You don't have to eject the installation media. VirtualBox will do it automatically for us. Voila, now you can see the login screen. Type your username and password to log in. Now, once you have logged into Debian 11, if you try to install any package using the terminal, you will see this message. Now by default, only root users can run system level actions. We're going to fix that issue. In my case, KSKRIO is the default user. I'm going to add this user to the sudo worst list to gain elevated privileges. To do so, type su to log in as the root user and enter the root password. Then type nano etsy sudo words and scroll all the way and add this line exactly what you say next to the root user. Now in your case, replace this part with your username. That's it, now press Ctrl plus O to save the changes and press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now type exit to exit out from the root account. Now if you run any command using sudo, it should work fine without any issues. Now go ahead, edit the apt sources list and comment cd-rom repository line and save the changes. It's time to install VirtualBox guest editions that will enable 3D acceleration, clipboard sharing, and more functionalities. To do so, inside the terminal, run this command to update the system, then tap this command to install kernel headers. Now using the menu bar, choose to insert guest editions. 
Once it's mounted, open the file manager and you will see a CD icon on the sidebar. Now click on it and copy the all files and paste them into the downloads directory. Now if you see this pop up, choose cancel. Then go back to the terminal and navigate to the downloads directory. We need to install this file to enable all the extra features of the virtual box. To do so, change the permissions to this file by running this command. Then tap this command to execute the package. If you see any prompt, just type yes and press the enter key. And this will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Do not close the terminal, so please be patient. That's it, guest edition support is added to the Debian Linux virtual machine. And as you can see, the full screen mode is working fine without any issues. Now restart the VM to affect these changes. And voila, now as you can see, Debian Linux runs super smooth. This is how you properly install Debian Linux in a virtual box on any Windows PC or laptop. If in case you decide to delete the Debian Linux virtual machine, first turn off the VM, then head over to the main user interface of VirtualBox. From the sidebar, select Debian Linux and right click on it and choose to remove and delete it. That's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? If you have any questions, do post them in the comment section down below and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.